Baltimore, so I'm going to leave that to people who are closer. I, anything I say about Baltimore is just uh, not going to be constructive here. I think what I said earlier is the community leaders stood up and said they feel that this, um, uh, you know, so, as my wife said last night, I said, you know, the guy that was uh, Freddie Gray, you know, he, he had a broken neck. And my wife said, well, I, I don't think you can break your own neck. And we don't know how that happened, and there's going to be a lot of questions, and we get back to transparency, we get back to full reporting. And uh, the good news is the community leaders said, we're going to be heard, but we're going to be heard in a peaceful manner. We're not going to be heard by burning down a building, and we're not going to tolerate that. And I think, uh, uh, I also think, as I watched a little bit last night on television, I, I think that the police were very restrained when that 10 o'clock curfew came and they marched carefully. And my understanding is they only had two arrests last night, if that that's right, and you didn't see the violence. So the community is going to be heard. It's a lesson for everyone. And, um, and I, I bet that the folks in Maryland and across this country are going to look at some of the things that we're thinking about here. And if they adopt them, I think they'll be, they'll be better off. So, so thank you all very much.